This is a follow-up to my course on the Jekyll CMS static site generator. And in that course, I walked you through step-by-step -step how to build a static site using Jekyll. But I also want to share one way you can easily manage your site using the Sublime Text Editor along with Jekyll. So for this lesson, we're going to use the Sublime Jekyll Sublime Text package to easily publish our Jekyll site, even if we have multiple templates and layouts. So how are we going to do that? Well, first off, before we get to that, I want to let you know that if you are new to Jekyll, but you want to learn how to use it, go ahead and check out my course. In just part of an afternoon, you'll be up and running, and then you can come back here and continue on with this lesson on using Sublime Text. You'll be better off if you just go learn Jekyll first and then come back and do this. All right, let's take a look at how we can use Sublime Text and Jekyll together. So to implement Jekyll with Sublime Text, we need to have the following. The first thing we need to do is have a copy of Sublime Text. And we also need to make sure that we have a Jekyll site at least uh, configured and running. The next thing we need to do is install the Sublime Text Package Manager. And if you haven't installed that yet, you should do that now. And you can check out the tutorial that I wrote up at Majingo.com called Installing Sublime Text Package Control and it'll walk you through the steps that you need to install that. It's pretty easy. It's really just some copying and pasting of code, and then it will install. Once you have it installed, you'll be able to access the package manager via the command palette using Shift-Command-P. And if you just type package, you should get the option to install a package. Choose that. And once Sublime Text is done searching for packages, we can then filter by the word Jekyll, and you should see one called Jekyll. Hit enter, and Sublime Text will then install the Jekyll Sublime package. All right, once we get this package control message, we know that it has been installed successfully. Now let's go ahead and configure it and then learn how to use it to publish our site. In order for Sublime Jekyll to know where our content is stored, we need to update some settings. And we do this in our user settings file for the package. And that's available from the application menu, preferences, package settings, and then go to the Jekyll package, and then settings user. This will open up a file called jekyll.sublime-settings. And this is the settings file for this package. I've already populated this with my settings, but let's walk through these three. The first one is jekyll underscore posts path. And this is a full path. So it has to go all the way back to the, the root of the uh, directory, the full path to your posts directory. And in Jekyll, this is typically in the root of the project at underscore posts. And then the drafts path is another one that we have to set. And it's the same thing, full path to it. And that is typically in Jekyll underscore drafts. And then the Jekyll uploads path. And this is the path where you uh, want to upload files when you're creating posts. And in my case, I set that to be the IMG directory in the root of my project. So enter yours in, make sure you have uh, curly braces surrounding them. And then the, the setting itself is surrounded by double quotes, colon, and then the string for each of the paths also surrounded by double quotes. And of course, uh, commas after each one except for the last. So once that is done, we're now ready to interact with the tool a little bit more. To access Sublime Jekyll, we use the command palette. Shift Command P, and we can filter the commands by typing Jekyll. Now you can see a long list of commands for Jekyll. Let's first talk about templates. Sublime Jekyll allows you to easily define different types of templates for your content. So on my personal blog, which is the project that I have open here in Sublime Text, I have three different types of templates. I have an update post, a link post template, and a full post template. And I can look at those here if I go to Jekyll template. If we browse the templates, they'll open up in the finder. And you can see I have these full post, link post, and update. So what this does is it allows me to do something like this. I can do shift command P and new, let's say new draft from template. 
and then I can choose the template that I want to use. So let's say I want to use a update template. And I can put in a title. You see it prompts me at the bottom to put in a title. And I will say recording course, oops, recording, recording lesson on Sublime Jekyll. Hit enter and that opens up a new markdown document and it uses the title here to create the file name which then becomes the slug and I'm going to put in a date here and Jekyll actually has a command for that insert current date time and then I can write in the actual content of this update post so it's a recording a new lesson sublime text all right and I can save it to create a new template we go back to the command palette and we do Jekyll new template hit enter and it prompts us down at the bottom again for a template name so let's say we'll call this photo post let's say I want to create posts that are just a single photo I can create a description for it as well We'll say single photo posts for RyanIreland.com and then it creates a new YAML file which is my template file with uh, a layout standard layout of post I can put in other things here let's say I wanted to add in some uh, standard markup or something like this I could do that too uh, whatever I want to do and I can save it and now when I go to create a new draft from a template I'm given the option of using the photo post and I can create a title I can say sunrise over Austin and then pop in the URL to the photo that I want to show on the site. Sublime Jekyll saves your templates in your user directory. These are not saved within the Jekyll project itself. This is something specific to the Sublime Jekyll package and you can access those either through the finder or right here we can access them under browse templates and it'll pop open the finder and you can see the YAML files for each of the four templates that I have for my site. You can open these template files in any text editor that you want in sublime text if you want and then edit them as you need. So we've created some drafts. Let's talk about how we're going to publish something. All right, so I'm going to create a new post. So let's create a new post from template. Actually, let's create a new draft from template. And it'll be another update post. And we'll just say recording a new lesson is the name of it. I'll put in my date again here. We'll use date time. We'll say recording a new lesson today on how to use Sublime this. All right, and we can save that. So now we have a draft. And if I look over in my draft directory, you can see it's right here, recording a new lesson right there. All right, now how am I going to get that into my post directory so Jekyll will generate a post from it? Well, what we do is we do with the package manager, we say promote draft to post like that and it's going to have us choose one of our drafts and in this case it will be let's see recording a new lesson and now it has promoted that to a draft it's saved it with a date stamp in the file name now so it's changed that file name and it's moved it to the underscore post directory. So now as far as Jekyll is concerned, this is a published post. I just need to generate it. I use GitHub to generate my uh, site. So that means I need to commit and push this new entry. All right, so to do that, I'm going to use something called Git Savvy. And I covered Git Savvy in another lesson that you can find at the URL on your screen. If you want to check out Git Savvy, it's a really cool tool for interacting with Git right from inside of Sublime Text. So I'm going to go ahead and stage this and then commit it and say new update post like that and 
that's committed, and now I will push. So all that was just using the keyboard right inside of Sublime Text, and now it's pushed. Now if we pop over into the browser and then load our site, you can see that it is now published up on uh, the server on GitHub. There is the new uh, post that I created, this little update post, and I can also use it to post things like these link posts I wanted to, or these are the full posts here that I can do. And I can do that all from right within Sublime Text. So it's a great, powerful way to create content for your Jekyll site without leaving Sublime Text. You should also explore all of the commands that are available under Jekyll. We can remove drafts, remove posts, remove templates. Uh, and they also have a migration tool. If you use the previous version of this package, you can use the migration tool. Um, so there's a lot of great functionality in here. And this is a great tool if you publish using Jekyll and you code in Sublime Text. This is a great way to bring them both together. Thanks for watching this lesson on using Sublime Text and Jekyll. To learn something new today, please visit Majingo.com learn.